my greetings beans it's your mama bean ellie and welcome back for another episode of psa rants i am your host ellie stitches and the return of bjorn andreson as my background for today's episode we're going to talk about a um unique celebrity who takes her narcissism to a whole new level to any of you that don't know what narcissism means well it's a personality disorder that qualities includes thinking very highly of oneself, needing admiration, believing others are inferior, and lacking empathy for others. So mainly, you just love yourself. You don't have empathy or feelings for other people, but instead, you just only talk about yourself and everything always has to be about yourself. And today we are talking about this one narcissist that just ruined the hype for an upcoming movie that is based on the beloved musical Wicked. I guess everyone knows what Wicked is. It's like a prequel of The Wizard of Oz, and no joke, I never grew up with The Wicked, and I only watched the 1930s Wizard of Oz, my favorite movie. But yeah, there's gonna be a movie based on this musical and beloved Broadway show, Wicked, and it appears that this actress that's playing the Wicked Witch of the West just ruined the hype for everyone. You want to know why? Well, let's talk about it because, trigger warning, it's so ridiculous. Off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. We hear he is the wizard of wiz, if ever a wiz there was. I believe everyone knows what Wicked is. It's based on a beloved Broadway musical that's the prequel of The Wizard of Oz, and now it's becoming a movie. And I think it's in theaters right now, I believe. And no joke, it looks very promising and maybe it's just like in the musical Broadway. However, when fans saw the movie poster for the theaters and they did not like what they saw. What I showed earlier was the classic um, poster for the musical Wicked, which looks exactly like this one. And no joke, it looks extremely iconic. Fun fact, I think my mom and my boyfriend's mom are going to go see Wicked this December. Like, not not the movie, but the mu- actual musical, so yeah. <laughs> However, the, the movie wants to portray like the exact same as the musical one, and sadly, fans do not like it how they portray it. Here is the movie poster. Do you see anything wrong with it? Yeah, um... It, it doesn't, I mean, it, it's close, but um, I think showing the Wicked Witch of the West's face uh, kind of ruins it all. Like, she almost looks very mysterious, and she's supposed to be smirking. She doesn't look like she's smirking at all, and she's just staring blankly into the camera, and it just doesn't look right at all. Look, no hate on the actress, it's just... You, um, if you want to make it look like exactly like in the musical poster, you're supposed to look very mysterious because I, if you all know, the Wicked Witch of the West is, she was a antagonist in the Wizard of Oz, and she's supposed to look mischievous, mysterious, and evil looking. However, there was a fan that edited this movie poster to make it look exactly like in the iconic Wicked musical poster, and here's what it looks like. This one, this feels very right, and it looks exactly like in the musical one. She looks so mysterious, and look at her, like, smirking, like she's, like, planning something. Just, like, no joke, it looks iconic right here. Of course, everything that seems good always ends badly, because of a certain someone that just ruined the entire hype for this movie. All thanks to the actress playing the Wicked Witch of the West, Cynthia Arivo. I hope I said her name correctly. This woman right here got so offended, so butthurt, so triggered over this fan edit. You wanna know why? They covered her eyes. That's it. She got so butthurt over the edit where they covered her face. Like, half of her face. That is resembling the Wicked musical poster. Let's read on what she said about this fan edit. This is the wildest, most offensive thing I have seen. Equal to that awful AI of us fighting. Equal to people posing the question, is your green? 
None of this is funny. None of it is cute. It degrades me. It degrades me. The original poster is an illustration. I am a real life human being who choose to look right down the barrel of the camera to you, the viewer, because without words, we communicate with our eyes. Our poster is a homage, not an imitation. To edit my face and hide my eyes is to erase me. That is just deeply hurtful. We're supposed to feel so bad for you because we just edited to make it look resemble as the musical? You got so hurt that we covered your eyes and you want to just show off yourself? Girl, it has nothing to do with race. <laughs> She's making it about race and herself. You know what this reminds me of? Back when the, the live-action Little Mermaid came out, and I believe Halle Bailey got so hurt that people are making edits of Ariel as her 80s character, like, you know, pale skin and red hair. People got so butthurt over that, and she just made a fool of herself, like, I'm supposed to be Ariel! Why were you doing this? This isn't me! I'm Ariel! <laughs> and yes, what she said, is that you're green, sweetie. This has nothing to do with race. This has nothing to do of erasing you off of the poster. They just edited it to make it look exactly like the musical. You're still there. You just look, they just make you look even more mysterious. That's the whole point of it. You got so buttered over it, like. Is this where we become? We're just so full of ourselves, like, we want to be shown in everything, but when someone edits it, they believe, like, You're erasing me! How could you? I'm the star of this movie! I'm supposed to be on this poster, not be covered up! This is sexist and racist and greenest! At the same time, you are erasing me as the Wicked Witch of the West! Only Ariana Grande is there! But where am I? I cannot see my beautiful self onto this poster! Grow up! Oh my god. I feel like we can't make fan edits no more. Because we're gonna hurt a freaking celebrity's feelings for erasing them and editing to make something resembling an iconic poster. <laughs> Beans. <laughs> this is a lesson is if you really love yourself and you love what you do, who you are as a person, and no shame and all but if you're gonna be like this you just make a fool of yourself yeah um to be honest i'm not really looking forward on watching this movie i'm not really interested in it because it's just not my cup of tea mainly but to any of you that watches it that is okay if you don't like the actress but you still want to see the movie that is completely fine and plus, maybe it'll be good, but this woman just made a fool of herself for being a complete narcissist and just ruined some fun. That's all she did. She just ruined the fun of all because she just wants to be shown on everything, just her face. And again, that's, that's what a narcissist is. They just love to see themselves onto something. And if someone blocks it, they're hurt. Like, where am I? I can't see myself. I want to see myself. Don't be a narcissist, Beans. Don't be like Cynthia Arizo. I understand narcissism is um, quite of a difficult disorder to handle because I've dealt with people with narcissism and they just love to talk about themselves and never shut up about themselves and I'm just like, how can I deal with that? So... No, I'm not trying to hate on narcissist people. It's just people like Cynthia always makes me mad. Like, this is why I stop giving a crap about celebrities and what they do on their daily lives. Like, they're just full of themselves. They mainly see themselves as gods. Like, they're the top of the world that they're in a movie or a TV show. Like, they have to be tops. I mean, it's Hollywood. They make a fool of themselves and they're being exposed for it. 
Anyways, um, that is the video for today. I know it's a little short, but I just wanted to get this off my chest because I find this very annoying and I hope you beans would understand that too. So like this video and you enjoyed this, comment down below any other PSA rants I can talk about, and don't forget to subscribe for any more ASMRs, creepypasta narrations, and videos like this. Have a wonderful day, little beans. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and stay warm. Goodbye for now.